Hi, I'm Julianne Hartman and welcome to Heart to Heart. And today I have on my show Dr. Jim Van Meter. And I've come to you now from Plano, Texas. I had to come all the way to Texas to get you some information. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for coming on the show. Well, you're welcome. And I have to tell you who Dr. Jim is. Dr. Jim is a what we call a holistic doctor, an alternative doctor. And um, you've already seen the, uh, the show with my mother, Janet, on there, and that was regarding the non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, how she was healed from that. And Dr. Jim was the person that she came to, uh, you know, for her healing. And so, well, we know it was God first, but, we, but God used this man to find out what was going on in her body so that he could support whatever, you know, organs and all that that were working, so. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. If it wasn't for God, we wouldn't be able to do anything. That's right. So, Dr. Jim, I have a few questions for you. Now, my okay. first one is this, because a lot of people don't know what holistic medicine is. So what would you say your definition of holistic is? My definition of holistic medicine is when we look at the mind, the body and the spirit because if you don't help all three you've lost them. Medical only looks at cause and effect. If you have a symptom they're, they'll look to see if they can find a cause but that's all they're looking for. They don't look for anything else. They don't look for the mind to see if the person is psychologically having a problem. They don't look at spiritually to see if the person's having a spiritual problem. And now, Dr. Jim, explain to me. So somebody comes into you, they're having symptoms. Now, are most people that come to you, have they already been to a Western doctor? Most all of them have. Okay. You know, you have people come to us that just coming to get well checked. They okay. just want to make sure they stay healthy. But that's rare and few between. Uh, most of the people who come in here have been to see a doctor. The doctor's told them they have something really bad. They're scared. They don't know what to do or where to turn. And they heard a friend say, well, you know what? You need to check out holistic health care. Well, in holistic health care, we're going to check that person out. We're going to verify what the doctor's already told them. Either yes, he was right or no, he wasn't. Uh, find out what's going on within their body, but we're going to look at everything together. What is causing the major problem? Okay. Now, what is it that you do? So you just give us kind of a, a play-by-play. -play. They walk in your door, you sit them down, and, you know, what do they do? Uh, when they first come in, they either know that they're wanting to go ahead and get a body scan from the EIS, which is electro-interstitial tissue screening. Okay. Or they're going to get a test done by the Life Machine, which is a frequency resin machine. Uh, we're going to use these two tests. We like to use them in combination because the EIS can pinpoint and show us by color what's going wrong with the person. And then the uh, life machine can pinpoint by frequency to find out what's actually causing that to become yellow, uh, an infection, for instance. Okay. So now the what we call the EIS machine is it's, it's like this body that turns into 360 and then it starts lighting up different colors to show what's going on in the you body. Bet. It, uh, it'll show the whole body, it'll show the heart, it'll show the lungs, shows all the, all the major organs and lets you know by color if those organs are healthy or degenerating. It's a very accurate machine, started in Europe eight years ago. Uh, the European regular MDs in Europe just think it's the greatest machine in the world. Uh, we've got lots of MDs in America already jumping on the bandwagon. I can test you, five minutes later test you again and get the exact same reading. Or if I give, haven't given you anything up to a week, it may just be worse, but it's gonna be the same reading. Although, if I test you, give you a product, come back a week later, we should see a better reading. Right. And that's one another benefit. It lets us read the same thing. It tells us if we're doing the right product at the right time. Okay, well, it's very encouraging to know that there are medical doctors now that you can go to that will have this machine. And I'm sure people can look online in their area. Now, Dr. Jim happens to be in Plano, Texas, but, you know, I'm sure that we could find you, we could help you find out, or you can just get on the Internet yourself and find people that have this. Now, how many years have you been doing this? Uh, I was started in 1990, uh, right after I graduated, mm -hmm. and I've been doing it ever since. Well, I've actually... I started in 90, graduated in 91, been doing it ever since 91. Okay. Uh, we started the center in about 97, 95, somewhere around there. We started the center, and uh, we've just been working our hearts out ever since. And this is Dr. Jim, his wife, Jan, and also their son, David, runs this. So they're here six days a week. Six days a week. Right. Now, so another question. Um, have you 
ever uncovered something that the medical doctors have not uncovered? Yes, ma'am, that's quite normal. Uh, doctor does so much work on you, he'll do some blood tests maybe, or he may give you an opinion right away. Oh, I think this is just pneumonia, for instance. We tested a guy today, doctor told him he had pneumonia. When we checked him, he had the hantravirus. He didn't have pneumonia. Uh, unless you treat for that, you're not going to get rid of it. So the guy is continuing with the same type of coughing, mm -hmm. same problem. Well, we found it with the frequency machine. We also found it on the EIS. Showed a dark blue area. Showed we had scarring and tissue. And by the way, the doctor told him he had scar tissue there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then, um, I mean, see, that's what's awesome is that, you know, we don't know what's going on. We know we feel certain things, and we know that something doesn't feel right about our bodies. But a lot of times people are just walking around like time bombs and not knowing what's going on inside their bodies. That's the sad part. And then you'll have people come in and say, well, I don't want to know. I don't want to be tested because I want to know, man. And I said, but if you get tested, if it's something bad, we can help you get it well. But if you don't know and you don't do anything, you could drop over dead. A uh, young friend of mine was coaching uh, Pee Wee football, ran out to the middle field, check on the boy, and dropped over dead from a massive heart attack. If he had only checked his heart and knew what was going on, he knew he couldn't have run, and I think we could have helped him. I think we, we would have helped the man live. See, and that's what I love is that, you know, the Bible says that, you know, my people die from a lack of knowledge. Yes, and, you know, that's not just the spiritual, and but also, too, you know, the spiritual does come into this where, I believe that if you can sit still long enough and you can pray that the Lord will direct you and tell you what you need to do. Well, that's true, Julian. Yeah. And you also have to look at it this way. If a person comes in to see us, that's a step of faith. Mm -hmm. And remember in the Bible where the little lady touched the hem of the garment mm -hmm. and the Lord says, who touched me? And she said, I did. And he said, but why? And she said, because I thought if I touched you, my issue of blood would be gone. He said, go, your faith has already cured you. So her faith to just touch him mm -hmm. cured her before she ever touched him. Right. Uh, our bodies can be cured by God in an instant. All we have to do is have faith. Now, that's a strong statement mm -hmm. because I can tell you right now, I know many people that had faith and they died. Just know this, though, that we can take control of what's going on, especially in this world, in, in our environments as well, because a lot of stuff is environmental, Dr. Jim, don't you think? It's getting worse every day. It's I mean, the whole plastic day. industry, you know, I mean, listen, I, I don't have my water bottle here, but come on, we're drinking water out of plastic bottles every day. And and that plastic bottle is no good. It's leaching. Unless it is. you have a bottle that's uh, higher than a six, don't drink out of it. Yep. Drink out of glass. There's plenty of glass bottles. Store still. Get your glass bottle. Use it to your water. Use that to drink your water with vitamin C. Guys, this is the season. You need to be taking vitamin C. Start it now. Go through the winter without getting cold. Get your vitamin C in your body. Yep. And you know something? I even do that. I now have, I uh, went and bought glass bottles and I just put my, you know, because I have a water filtration system, so I put that in there and put my vitamin C and I drink that. But I do have like a little thing because my husband kept saying, sweetie, you're going to break this water bottle because now it's glass. And so I got this little, I don't even know what it is, but it's a soft, squinchy thing that goes on the bottle. And so now, I've gotten rid of that problem, so I'm not. It's not going to break. So, but I, I just, you know, there's so much to cover, and that's why, you know, with you guys tuning in the show every week, you know, we have Tuesdays and Fridays we have new shows, and that's where you're going to get a lot of information because maybe something you're doing you could just tweak or change, and that could make a whole difference in your body. Absolutely, uh, good example. Are you taking minerals? people don't realize is without minerals, your vitamins will not absorb in your body. Mm. You can take a handful of vitamins every day and not get one bit to go into your body without the minerals. The minerals help break down the body. It helps the body to absorb the vitamins. If you don't take minerals, you're in trouble. Okay, so now can you take, now when you're saying take minerals, are we talking pill form, are we talking liquid, what are we talking? Liquid, I prefer liquid. A lot of people take the minerals in the pill form, the body liquefies it, but if you take liquid minerals, hold it in your mouth for 30 seconds, you're absorbing minerals right then, straight into mm. your bloodstream, starts helping the body immediately. I don't like capsules. Uh, 
capsules that will break apart, they're not too bad, but they're still not as fast as your liquids. I prefer everything liquid as much as possible. So you're saying that I could be taking uh, magnesium, calcium, all of this stuff for years and it's never really absorbing in my body. Give you a, get a good example. Porta potty here in Dallas. Mm -hmm. If you go out to their place, go outside and look, and it'll show you mountains. I'm talking mountains of pills mm -hmm. from Centrum Silver to you name it that the people couldn't digest. Oh my gosh, are you? I'm <laughs> that is disgusting. Serious. Are you serious? I'm serious. Go take a picture of it, put it on your show. You'll be crazy. That's yes, awful. Yes, okay, Dr. Jim, I've never heard of something like that before, but it's true. That's and you know, true. when I do take vitamins that have the capsules, I'm always going, ew, where is this going? Most <laughs> of it doesn't. That's the problem. Most of it does. Well, I, I'm, I'm actually leaving Texas tomorrow, and um, so I'm glad that we got this interview. And I just, you know, this is North Texas Wellness Center, and everybody here is so just willing to help and say, let's get in, let's dive in, let's find out what's going on. And one thing that you did do, you know, this is Dr. Jim who helped my mom, but one thing that you do that I love is that when you first sit down in his chair, he holds your hands and says, okay, we're going to pray, and we're going to ask the Holy Spirit to tell us what is going on in your body how can he help and that's what's awesome instead of you sitting here going oh I can do this you know I know all the answers so Dr. Jim do you, we always have a, a foundational scripture for the show do you have one for us well my favorite scripture comes from Hebrews okay and in Hebrews it talks about how and what faith really is it's Hebrews 11 1 faith is the substance of all things hoped for and the evidence of things not yet seen. If you remember in the Bible, it tells you that uh, when Jesus was talking, it says, how much more does God love you if he will adorn the fields with lilies and color the kings with all these beautiful colors? If he's willing to do that just for pure beauty, how much more does he care about you? Right. That's true. Thank you so much for that. Well, I want to thank you for joining me today. Remember, this is Dr. Jim Van Meter from North Texas Wellness Center. And uh, this is Julianne Hartman. And from my heart to yours, thank you for watching the show. We'll see you later.